name is Lauren Holloway. I am the COO at We Can Code It. I've always been interested in tech. I was in computer club growing up, got to middle school, and went to computer club on the first day, and there was no one who looked like me, and I was not even acknowledged at the door. So I just kept walking from that point. Went through college, um, really kind of suppressed this love for tech that I always had, because I was like, oh, there's no way, that's not for me. I already learned that lesson. So to have an organization that's sole purpose is to reinvent that image that you're used to seeing and ensure that that space is inclusive, we have to do this work. Our goal was we want it to be project and problem based. That's something that's easier said than done. Once we implemented the quarter method, I've seen the change in the attitudes of the students coming in. We saw a difference in the amount of hand-holding that was needed. Now we're seeing students get a tiny taste of, let's say, React, for example. It's not a core part of our Java program. We're seeing these students grab onto it and then start implementing it and building out their own knowledge for something as big as a capstone project that they have to actually present to employers. When you start getting those interactions earlier and earlier in the program, it just it skyrockets their learning curve. I've noticed instructors feeling more engaged with the students and their learning process and having a better idea of where each individual student is within that process and also being able to help focus on cultivating culture within those teams. When you have instructors that actually have this time and this bandwidth to really engage with these students in a different way than just standing in front of the classroom, that's probably one of the biggest benefits. So to go from something that was, it was more project and problem based than what you'd find in a normal classroom, but it's not where we are now, to being fully project and problem based where the students coming in are working in teams and groups as if they're working in a real work environment out in the field, that alone has been probably the biggest change that I've seen. And it's a lot to change in four years.